one minute each exercise, 10 exercises, that's 10 minutes of solid core. Your option is to do it twice. So it'll be 20 minutes of core work and um, have fun. So first exercise, just holding a forearm plank. So the elbows are going directly underneath of the shoulders and you're sending the legs back. The option here would be to drop the knees. So let me show you from the side. So the option would be to drop the knees or to stay up. So one minute, elbows directly underneath and holding, looking down at your thumbs. So you don't wanna look through and you don't wanna look up, breaking the neck this way. So just look down straight at the thumbs, the thumbs that have Holding it. Body may shake a little bit. That's not a bad thing. Keep holding. We got about 30 seconds left here. So holding nice and straight. Your option, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, is to lift the right leg and then lift the left. 30 seconds and 30 seconds, or 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, whatever you want to do. So we have 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we have a C crunch. So you're right here. You're crunching it in. Lift. The knees are driving in slightly, or the legs, and you're crunching it in. Looking between the knees. Just a small movement. You can pick to leave the lower body out of it. If that's too much, just C crunch the upper body in. Lift. Otherwise, both the upper and the lower. It's not about how fast you go here. It's about smooth and controlled. Smooth and controlled. Lifting, crunching it, thinking of making a C with your spine. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Flipping it back over. Forearm plank jacks. So again, the elbows are directly underneath of the shoulders. You can choose to be up here if you want and do them here, or come down to the forearms, whichever one you prefer. Ready, and one minute here. Again, looking down at the fingers, at the thumbs. Nice and solid, soft. Now the option here is to come here, and if that's still too much, just tap the knee out. But still keeping that long line in the back, Keeping the focus down at the thumbs. So either on the forearms or up and out. So entirely up to you what you want to do. I'm going to go back down to my forearms. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. So now we're going to do jackknives. So right here, touching back and lifting up and alternating. Lift and nice and controlled. Down. Now the option, you can make this a little bit harder by lifting that leg. Lifting the leg right away and then lifting up. Or you can do both legs at the same time. If you want it even harder than that, don't put anything down and lift up. So, lifting, keeping it moving, jackknife. So, your option, however hard you want to take it. But make sure that you're lifting in one piece and that you're not throwing the body up. So you're really lifting in one piece. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
four, three, two, and one. So now back to forearms, plank taps. So you're just tapping the toes out. So now holding the elbows in right underneath of the shoulders. Tap, tap. If you want it a little bit harder, take the leg up as far as you can take it, keeping the hips down and keeping the foot off the floor. Again, looking at those fingers, thumbs, whatever you want to look at. Or actually, I shouldn't say whatever you want to look at. I want you to look at your thumbs. Core stays solid, hips stay down. 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open bicycles. So uh, open bicycles are same arm and leg. So taking it open, open. So it's going to feel funny at first because we usually do opposite. So take it as long as you can. And you want to think of sliding the back along the floor and almost getting an oblique crunch here. Squeezing. Keep it going. Twenty seconds. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. 14. Now the option would be to stay here, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now coming back up, you're coming back to the forearms, you're going up, up, down, down. So coming here. Or actually, no, sorry, up, up, down, down. It's um, marching. So you're here, marching out and in and switching. So you're going right, left, right, tap. Two, three, four, five, six, looking at those thumbs, seven, eight. You can always go up. Nine, ten. I think it's harder on the forearms. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And I did 30 because I my timer went off. Alright, so now we have regular bicycles. So this is where you're crossing across. Try to keep the legs nice and long, and you're thinking of the shoulder going to the opposite side. If that's too much, keep the feet on the floor and bring it up. I didn't look at the time. Bummer. Let's see what it is now. All right, let's do about 30 more seconds. You make sure you do a minute. Crossing over. Across. Each time. Long. Again, we're not working for speed. You're really working for strength. Stability here. Really engaging the core. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, so now we are on um, forearm up, up, down, downs. All right, so going on the forearms, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, touch, up, up, down, touch, up, touch. So right there, one minute. And then, oh, feet butterflies. I didn't finish that just because my forearms are hurting me. But I will finish it, and there's a bug in my house. So feet are in butterfly position, soles of the feet together. If you need your feet out a little bit more or in a little bit, but you're going all the way back, touch the hands down, and you're using the core, if I can get up, you're using the core to lift you and touch your toes. So all the way back, core lifts and tap the toes. One minute here. So if you cannot go all the way up, what I want you to do is I want you to touch back and squeeze as much as you can up and then down and squeeze. And so really use that core and touch it. So don't try to swing yourself up. All right, so quick, easy, well, I shouldn't say quick and easy, but quick 10 minute, it, uh, it's not as easy as it may seem. If you're really, really engaging that core and really uh, keeping the hips still, the back still, everything very, very quiet, excuse me, except what you're supposed to be working, then um, it really is quite a challenging workout, but um, get that core, work that core. All right, 